Hi Road and Track, my name's Alan McNish and we're here at quite a sunny Le Mans 2012. Now, we're debuting the Audi e-tron Quattro at Le Mans this year and it's quite a different car, certainly for us. We've still got the V6 3.7 litre diesel engine uh, behind us, but we're also running a Quattro system with a hybrid. So therefore, under braking, we harvest the energy through the front wheels, which go into a motor generating unit, transfer that to electricity, goes to a flywheel, which sits basically next to me, spins up to 45,000 revs per minute. I accelerate again, that energy goes back to the MGUs, they fire it through the drive shaft of the front wheels, and off we go. Now this has been really interesting for me because I wasn't sure what it was going to feel like. I didn't know what it was going to feel like when it harvested the energy. In fact, no one in the world did because no one had done it off the front wheels either. And uh, we weren't exactly sure how it was going to be in terms of car balance coming out of corners and how it was going to affect things like tyre wear or the feeling over the course of a race or what it would be like in the wet. So all of these things were still developing even today and trying to build up our understanding and knowledge. But right now, there's two big areas of sensation. One, when you're braking straight, nothing, no difference. When you start to turn in, you feel a resistance on the steering wheel, just as it's harvesting the energy, as you've still got a bit of brake pressure going into the corner. Now, when this thing here is saturated at 500 kilojoules, which is the maximum by regulations, that's it, you can't store any more. Then you get onto the throttle, and as you touch the throttle, go onto it, you've got the acceleration being sent back through the front wheels and that extra acceleration, that extra power. However, it's regulated and it's not at a, an amount that dominates the rear of the axle because we've still got 510 horsepower being put through the rear tires here. And so you don't necessarily feel it uh, having torque steer or anything else like that. It just sort of comes out of the corner. It just pulls itself out of the corner. So you've got the drive from the rear and the pull from the front. The biggest area I feel it though is when we're below the regulation 75 miles per hour. So we, because we boost through the front wheels, cannot boost below 75. So I come through Moulsan Corner and Arnage here and I go on the throttle. i am then got standard diesel power, it kicks in, I've got a bit more and then it gently feeds out and then I'm back to the diesel power. But this time, you know, I'm in third, fourth gear so I'm really going anyway at uh, speed. So it's a, I would say it's a very smooth system. It's not something that we do a lot with in the cockpit. We've got some adjustments, but very minimal. It's a pretty much automated system. And so far, I have to say, with the pole position we had in Spa and also being on the front row sweep at the moment on Wednesday night here, it's a fast one as well.